Guys, before we actually start this video, if you don't know, I actually got partnered with Epic Games and they're hooking your brother up. Guys, create a supporter is now a thing. If you go down to the item shop and you go to the bottom right, support a creator, click on that, type in your boy's name, exotic motion underscore YT, and then you guys are going to be able to hit accept. Over here at the top right, it says creator supported exotic motion underscore YT. Take a picture of this or this right here and tweet me it. I will go ahead and retweet it and I'm picking a winner to give you guys free V-Bucks. All you gotta do is tweet me that's all you got to do it it shows support to your boy and i would appreciate that more than anything What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mosh bringing you guys another video guys. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we are on console. This is a console video for you guys. I know you guys loved it so much. I got a lot of likes on my last console video. So guys, that is right. I am going to start practicing console Fortnite to get better at it so I can start bringing you guys tips and tricks videos and just other things on console for you guys because a lot of my viewers came from console and a lot of people really enjoy the console gameplays for some weird reason guys I don't know what it is um, let me know down in the comments below like actually specify why you like console because the thing is is I was a like a, a beast on PC like I'm really really good on PC as you guys can tell from this clip right here whoops Behind. Oh, right, yo, quick question for everybody. So, like, if you're fucking a girl that's pregnant, would that count as a threesome? Yeah. Don't forget, don't forget about Big Nate over there, just chilling. I got him. Are you fighting someone that yeah. got dick though? Oh, got dick though, sorry. <laughs> no, I killed him. <laughs> oh, it's a wrap. We got some black people on you. <laughs> oh my god. They, you're... No, no, he, Nate's trolling, bro. He, he's just fucking around. I, I know him. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty good over there on the PC side. So the thing is, is console, like, I'm not, like, you could tell I'm a noob. And even in my last video, I was getting destroyed on console. Like, that was my very first day coming back to console. And you guys saw how bad I was at the game. Like, I was literally getting destroyed. But people still loved it. They were so happy. They were like, yes, back to console. I love it. So, for you guys, if that's really what you guys want, even if I'm trash, if that's what you guys want, I will bring you guys the console videos again. Let me know the specific reason down in the comments below. But, with that being said, guys, this is only my second day on console. And you know what? I decided instead of getting into a public match uh, with my friend El Gatito Valedor, I'm not going to sit there and just practice getting destroyed by random people, you know? Because I'd rather go into a playground match or... For instance, creative, because creative is a lot better now. Um, I'd rather go into creative and just 1v1 him practicing on console. As you guys can see, I am getting a little bit better on console. Now, again, keep in mind, the gameplay does look a little slow. I am still very, very rusty to console. And there's been so many changes to the game that I'm going to need a lot of improvements on console if I want to become a top-tier console player like I used to. So there's going to be a lot of things I need to learn. Um, you guys are going to see me practicing my 90s right here. Uh, it's not the best 90s in the world. I definitely slow down a lot. I do not play on a scuff, which while playing on console yesterday for the second time ever, I realized having a scuff controller can make everything so much easier on console. Like if I had a scuff controller, I would be able to jump and build and edit and do everything extremely fast just because of the, the little bumpers in the back of the controller. So with that being said, it might be an investment I have to make in the near future to buy a scuff controller. Now keep in mind, I'm really broke right now, so I probably won't get a scuff for another two months or something like that. So it's gonna be a while until I get a scuff, but for now I'm gonna have to practice using a normal controller. But a lot of people like that because um, the scuff kind of takes away some of the skills, so people think, 
think if I just use a normal controller and I could be a god on a normal controller, it, it helps them because it builds their confidence up as well. I did this a lot whenever I was trying to freaking do my 90s is I put a floorboard above me on accident, which I don't know why I kept doing it. It really sucked that I kept doing it. I was getting frustrated. But guys, I really do think I'm getting better on console. If you guys do want to improve at the game and get better at the game, all you have to do is go into playground. Like literally, I will probably spend a lot of my time in playground or creative mode practicing 1v1s with my friends because it puts yourself in situations where you have to build fight and think about it instead of playing a normal Fortnite game where you spend what 20 minutes playing a game and you run into what maybe two two teams if that at the most so maybe three sometimes and then you end up dying so you wasted a lot of time there's a lot of wasted time in normal game mode so if you come into creative mode and play with your friends you're literally constantly 1v1ing like there's not a single second you're not I mean there's probably going to be times where after you kill them where he has to spawn in and then you destroy everything and then restart that's just a few seconds or if not a minute so that's not that much time and you're getting a lot more practice doing it so guys I suggest if you do want to get better do this if you do want a chance to 1v1 me on console keep that in mind you're going to end up dogging me on console just because of how bad I am uh, guys you, you have a chance to actually be in one of my next YouTube videos uh, in the near future is because if you're in my exotic discord uh, go to the general tab in the text chat and I'm going to be announcing what day I want people to 1v1 me for a YouTube video that's right YouTube video 1v1s only console players if you're PC I'm sorry you're gonna destroy me completely maybe I'll do another PC video in the future but um, for now I just want to do console so if you guys are on console and you do want to 1v1 me go to the discord and pay attention to the general tab that's where I'm going to announce where I will be doing 1v1s and stuff like that now keep in mind if you do destroy me don't be cocky don't be like ah I destroyed or anything like that or don't talk any smack just because I'm new to console or stuff like that I mean if I was decent at cons console or PC and you talk that smack I understand but I'm still basically a bot on console right now so if you do talk smack you probably won't end up making it in the final cut of the video so try to just be humble and modest to the people you are playing but guys with that being said I wanted to make this video of me doing playground because I want you guys to judge me and critique me let me know down in the comment section below like really let look at that beam that was a crazy beam right there there. Let me know down in the comment section below how you think I played and if I am getting better on console. Guys, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.